Hi, uh, Ben. This is Vita from San Leandro. Hey, how are you? Good I to hear from you. Again. Bu- huh? Oh, I was saying, good Hello? to hear from you. How are you? Oh yeah. Hey, Ben. I, I, you know what? I, what, what I see this this poll that polling about Hillary uh, ahead. The problem mistake that we make if we gonna call ourselves the pro- progressives is that um, that jump is nothing but the media, mainstream media, mm-hmm. and um, um, uh, um, uh, uh, newspapers and blogs pushing Hillary, uh, pushing, um, not, not put, um, 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 uh, and, um, uh, uh, going after Hillary for her policies. They're just focusing mainly on Trump, you know, on Trump, where everything he does. But none of her stuff comes up with questions, her policy and her tax policy, because Hillary Clinton, um, all the things that she has done is, uh, is, is, is scapegoating. That's nothing but the co- corporate propaganda that we keep feeding into and looking at and then balancing out. They want to play that fear game with Trump. I would say let both of them just fall because they already, the cor- corporate and the money rich people have already captured, captured democracy. It's already, it's already. I'm sorry. Back, back up two steps. Back up two steps for me. What was the last thing you said before uh, you said, let's let it all fall. I mean, it, it, at, at some point, when something is 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 is, is so um, diseased, diseased that sometimes you just have to. Sometimes you have to start over, and and and, and you have to suffer sometimes to go through it to to to, to, to get to get something better. Do you? Um, do you let's let's explore keep, this. Um, Lex, do you mind if I use you as a? As a... We keep on holding, so holding up to, to to Hillary. I mean, I think about so many things that have been done. And um, not said, we, we lie silently, you know, mm-hmm. especially the things that affect. I, I hear Tom Harden today. He tells tells us that we're stupid, um, that black people, you better go out there and get, get, get out there and vote for um, for Hillary or you're going to be in trouble. You know, you know. Hang on. Uh, hold, on hold on. 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 You're, you're saying a lie. And I want to make sure I capture this. And we're already after 10. But I want I got to have this conversation. All right. So Tom Hartman said black people need to get off to make sure they go yeah. vote for Hillary. Yeah. Okay, I, I'll, I'm going to go here. I'm going to listen to that. Yeah, he, and... he had a caller, and he was telling him, and he was talking about, well, black people, you're stupid, that, that you're stupid if you don't vote, and you know, but... but did he, then, did he then, say, hang I on, thought, hang on, hang on, hang on. I have to be clear, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call Tom, at, I mean, I'm going to email Tom after the show. He said that we're stupid if we don't vote for Hillary. You're stupid. We're stupid. We're stupid. Because, okay. we, because it was all in, all, all in the framework. A lady called in, and she was telling him that it's hard for... Um, 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 uh, uh, for, I'll, I'll tell you what, I will email you the link. Cause oh, I, yeah, no, I, I'm going to gonna listen to it on my way home. All right, and so on, I'll it talk. It was on August the 7th or 6th, but he, he's been doing this a lot late, lately. Okay, Him I need you to slow down. I need you to slow down. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, because I got to explore something else you said that's actually more important, right? And if you don't mind, I just need like uh-huh. three three minutes with you to unpack this. You said okay. that sometimes okay. it gets so broken that you need to suffer, that it gets so broken that you just need to tear it all down and, and start over. Here's the problem I have with that analysis. Donald Trump is not going to break apart this system in any meaningful way such that it causes a radical shift in how we do things in America. Donald Trump is going to just do what Hillary Clinton would do, just more so. Anything economically that you're mad about with Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump is just going to do it more so. But you know what? But Hillary's been doing this for so long. You know, we, we have suffered underneath the Democratic Party because we had elite politicians and, and, uh, and a lot of people uh, not being um, resourceful and educating themselves in, 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 in the, in the, um, and researching policies and looking back and seeing what has affected us and what has not affected us and then how they, how they frame it with identity po- po- politics or intersectional and then um, immigration. How are you going to... And um, you know, um, um, the policies that you say you go to to North Carolina, you get in front of black people, you get in front of the Latinos, you get in front of the Asians. You're going to do immigration and immigration. Okay. That's I got Because I'm, you cause do I'm on a limit. Because I'm on a limited time frame. Like you know, we're already over. Is, it's not going to get down here. But we'll let me. I have to ask you. I have to ask you a couple more questions. And you know, you know, you and I go okay. way back to when I was inside of my bedroom mm-hmm. doing this show. So I'm not trying to put you mm-hmm. on the spot, but I think you're voicing the sentiment of a lot of people, and I want to explore this a little further. Because okay. if you're upset with with Hillary Clinton, which I I don't disagree with you being upset with it, her, it, it, which, it, which, it's just not Hillary Clinton. It's the 
Democratic right. okay. Party. All right. So let's let's do the Democratic see. Party, which which I, I concur. Mm-hmm. I agree. Um, mm-hmm. Going with Donald Trump or supporting Donald Trump or allowing Donald Trump to win doesn't fix a, and not not only does it not fix but it, but, it, but it, then, it, 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 hang on, hang on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish your thought. Let, Trump to let, win me, let by, me finish my thought. By, let me, um, let by, me finish. By, by placing my vote no, for my, I, um, yeah. based on my um, view. Your conscience. Vote. I'm not I'm allowing yeah. him to win. No, no, no. You vote however you want to vote, right? That's unfair. Wait, I've always said, hang on, mm-hmm. let's be sure. I've always said on my mm-hmm. show for you to vote however you choose to vote. I'm not going to tell you how mm-hmm. to vote, but I'm just going based on what mm-hmm. you said in this conversation, right? You said that sometimes mm-hmm. we need to allow it to break apart and allow people to suffer because it's become so uh, so ruined, basically, right? It's become so, so repugnant that it has to all fall down. Um, so I'm just basing it off of what you said. I'm not telling you who to vote for. Yeah, I've never yeah, done that, it, and I never the, will. The other reason why I say this, Ben, is because my California vote and how the, the those 200 some delegates got Hillary the nomination when we had ballots in California that wasn't even cast, and everybody yeah. just glossed yeah. over it like I'm, it wasn't nothing. I'm with so you. I'm with you. I just want to. If I don't vote, yeah, I yeah. just I just want to explore your premise. Because it's very important because I just want to Uh make I just want to make one point Uh to me. And this is to me. Uh I have a lot of problems with the Democratic Party, but that would Uh never allow me to run to the Republican Party because the Republican Party is like the Democratic Party on steroids with their problems. Uh So a lot of people use this and say, oh, how could you vote for the Democratic Party because they've done the black community so bad? Well, hell, have you gone to a Republican run state? They are just as bad (laughs) as as Democrats. Yeah, I know both of them are the same. I I agree with you. They're the same, they're the same. So in in terms of your your starting statement that that Uh we should allow it to fall down, I'm just saying that Donald Trump is a Republican who's going to do exactly what people like Paul Ryan wants him to do. Mm -hmm. And he demonstrated that today. Mm -hmm. So Donald Trump is not going to tear apart this system. So I I guess if I guess what I'm saying is if your goal is to tear down this system, Donald Trump is no more going to do that than Hillary Clinton would. That's all I'm saying. Okay, let me go a little bit farther. Let me uh, uh, define my tearing down. My tearing down is that I'm not going to at the presidential part. But mm-hmm. I'm going to work harder on the down ballots, you know, the, mm-hmm. down, the down ballots, because you got you ha- we ha- we have to put people in there that's more co- pro- pro- progressive that deal with the policies that we all in this country can use, you know, mm-hmm. as as a force to be building this progressive army. But at the top, I cannot, I cannot, um, I, I cannot see myself a vote for Hillary yeah. nor Trump. Okay. I, I, so, okay. I there you go. That. That's, I will, I will I, not do that. But I will I still participate either. in democracy, even though my vote is got screwed up. Uh, I mean, that, yeah. that, to, to this day, you know that, that that. But then, how we framed it? It's like right, it's right. like we live in a republic, right? And then you have they say there's direct and indirect of the, the um, democracy because um, um, direct is when yeah, when, yeah. when you um, um, you go out vote and vote. directly versus indirect representatives. Is when it goes to the to the to the um, to the, the, the Congress, you know, right. to the to the, the people. And so then my voice by you know a lot of our voices is not being heard because then mm-hmm. we elect somebody we got to fight and call them behind them call them and all that it takes a all lot right. of work so let me, a lot, let lot me, of work. Let me a lot jump of in people there. don't have the jobs or yeah. you know two or three jobs or you know, I, I, yeah. I think about those parents yeah. that are working hard it's not me i'm retired now but i'm concerned about other people whether they're Absolutely. black brown or whatever i just don't like the struggle to see them have to keep going through you know it's so yeah. hard to see people that's really good and really trying trying to do do the right thing and still get beat down i got it i got you I hear you loudly and clearly. Thanks so much for your call. Um, And I appreciate the conversation. Um, Just the last thing I would say about that is, you know, my only concern with that train of thought and that train of logic is that it it indirectly puts people in a supportive position of Trump, you know, to the defense of Trump. And my only thing is, like, vote for whoever you want to. Right. I've I've said this a dozen times. More than a dozen. I've said at least a hundred times on this show, vote for whoever you feel comfortable voting for. But what you can and and, and you you didn't say this, uh, Vita, you didn't say this, but um, but but you 
anyone calling anyone on anyone who is surrounded by me, anyone who hits me on Twitter or social media or call in and says that Donald Trump is the solution directly or indirectly. I just can't go get on board with that, because if you hate what Hillary Clinton does, you're definitely going to hate what Donald Trump does. It just it just logically follows. Donald Trump is a further uh, a furthering of neoliberalism economically he's a furthering of neo neoconservatism questionably right you know there's some there's some questions about which one would be more hawkish right so so that i would concede that but in terms of economics donald trump he demonstrated it today he is going to be the same if not worse let me qualify that even better he is going to absolutely be worse economically than Hillary Clinton. So if we're dissatisfied with the Democrats, which I understand and I agree with, and you're dis you can't find yourself voting for Hillary Clinton, I understand and I, I, I completely identify with that, then you, the, the solution is not voting for Donald Trump. You know, the solution is just voting your conscience and if your conscience is telling you that Donald Trump is going to be better then your conscience and I need to have a conversation because that's just that's that that part I don't agree with at all. I'll see you guys tomorrow. The Benjamin Dixon Show is only possible with listener support. Go to www.thebenjamindixonshow.com to register for our blog. Join the progressive army and support the Benjamin Dixon Show. It's ben Dixon. If you like this episode, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Consider becoming a Patreon. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash the BPD show and support the Benjamin Dixon show.